Hello and good morning. I just got over COVID, so I've got a little bit of a stuffy nose and I haven't been sleeping well. So you can see I've got sexy bags under my eyes. But um, since I have some free time today, I thought I would go over um, what actually hyaluronic acid does and whether it's actually worth all the hype out there. So hyaluronic acid is basically touted as one of like the most amazing ingredients out there nowadays and does it actually work and how do you actually make it work well with your skin so we're going to go through what hyaluronic acid is and then um, how the formulations work in skincare and then you can decide whether it is right for your skin or not so hyaluronic acid is naturally occurring in the skin. So within your dermis, there is a high molecular weight hyaluronic acid. So what hyaluronic acid does is it holds up to 1000 times its own molecular weight in water. So it draws it, the water, um, from within and then it hydrates your skin. So the best way to hydrate your dermis is, from within is actually to drink a lot of water. So don't forget that hyaluronic acid inside your skin is actually a high molecular weight, meaning the molecules are quite big. So when it's saying that hyaluronic acid is plumping your skin, it means that when it draws water, it actually fills in the gaps between the collagen and elastin layers and all the other layers of your skin and holds it up and so you get that extra plumping effect. So that's why hyaluronic acid is very prevalent in skincare nowadays. Um, but we should also look at how hyaluronic acid is formulated in these skincare products so that you understand how it actually works on the skin. So does hyaluronic acid actually penetrate into the skin? So you've probably seen a lot of adverts saying that the lower the molecular weight, the more it penetrates into the skin. But don't forget that within the dermis, it is a high molecular weight hyaluronic acid that's doing all the work. So how do they produce a low molecular weight hyaluronic acid? It's actually developed in the lab, so it's not exactly the same um, skin identical ingredient as it is inside your natural dermis. So yes, it can be absorbed, but it cannot be absorbed as far down as um, what some of the claims um, say it does. So it actually does penetrate into the epidermis, which is a layer on top of the dermis. And so you have to ask yourself, do you want your epidermis to be hydrated? So let's go over the different forms of hyaluronic acid that could um, occur in a particular product, for example. So you have high molecular weight uh, hyaluronic acid, which will come in the form of sodium hyaluronate cross polymer or even hyaluronic acid. So you'll see those in the formula. Then you have the medium molecular weight hyaluronic acid, which is sodium hyaluronate and hyalur hyaluronic acid in the medium molecular weight. And then you've got the low molecular weight hyaluronic acid, which is hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid or acetyl hexapeptide 37. Sorry, I'm having pronunciation problems today. So what exactly is a low molecular weight hyaluronic acid? So we look at it in terms of Daltons or uh, kilo Daltons. So low molecular weight hyaluronic acid usually is below 10 kilo Daltons, means it's lower than 10,000 Daltons. So we have something that we call the 500 Dalton rule in terms of skincare penetration. So if it's 
lower than 500 Daltons, it means that it actually penetrates into the skin. So the lowest molecular weight of hyaluronic acid is a little lower than 10,000 Daltons. So it doesn't actually get to penetrate into the dermis, but it does remain into in the epidermis. So that is up to you whether you want your epidermis to be hydrated um, with hyaluronic acid. Another thing we need to know about hyaluronic acid is it's in the category of humectants. So humectants are actually things that attract and retain moisture. Um, so how to use hyaluronic acid is very important. So let's say you are in a dry climate and you're putting hyaluronic acid in your face. So if the climate is dry, it will actually pull the moisture from your face and toss it out into the air because there's not there's less water in the air than it is on your face. So the way to use hyaluronic acid is to actually use it on damp skin. So you can either spray some water on your skin or some rose water or whatnot and then put hyaluronic acid on and then you have to lock it in with a moisturizer. So there are a few steps that you do need to take in order to um, use hyaluronic acid properly. So if you expect to just put hyaluronic acid on and it's going to moisturize you right away, that's not going to happen. So, so after we do microneedling sessions on our clients, we actually do recommend that clients hydrate their skin with hyaluronic acid or something that is uh, or includes a humectant and um, another humectant that I really love is actually glycerin because glycerin actually has um, a low molecular weight of um, 92 Daltons so it actually does penetrate into the skin so when you've got a formulation with glycerin and hyaluronic acid it means that you can penetrate into the dermis as well as the epidermis to hydrate your skin so let's have a look at my favorite um, hyaluronic acids. So one of them is actually from Haralabo Gokujun Premium. And this one, I think it has five or six hyalurons in it. And it also has glycerin. So this is one of my favorite um, products that I recommend to my clients. And this is another one that I really like. It's from Gravish and it's got eight hyalurons in it and basically it's um, got the different molecular weights and if you look at the ingredients you'll see all the different types of like sodium hyaluronate hydroxypropyl trimonium hyaluronate hydroxylized hyaluronic acid sodium acetylated hyaluronate uh, hyaluronic acid sodium hyaluronate cross polymer hydrox hydrolyzed sodium hyaluronate and potassium hyaluronate so within this formulation, there are eight types of different hyaluronic acids, and um, it's also got glycerin. So I really like this one. Another one I really like is the IIS from Native Essentials or East. And this one actually also has um, rose water, which helps to uh, rose distillate, which helps to um, pull stuff down into the skin, as well as um, low molecular weight hyaluronic acid. And as mentioned earlier, um, hyaluronic acid is basically everywhere. So like even in like a cleanser, um, there is, <clears throat> this one has amino acids and hyaluronic acid in it. And which form is it in? This one just says hyaluronic acid. So um, <clears throat> could be a high molecular weight or low molecular weight. So it's actually not really doing a lot for the skin in terms of hydration or plumping the skin. So with that being said, you are armed with most of the information that you need to decide whether you want to include a separate hyaluronic acid in your skincare routine or to just have it occurring in um, part of uh, a skincare product. So I hope this information was helpful and um, there are some links in my blog uh, of the um, hyaluronic acids that I usually like. So I'll see you next time and 
message or write any comments or questions that you have underneath.